Warning, please do not try this at home. Uh, you could hurt yourself. This is not normal electricity that I'm using in this video. Uh, it's not normal electricity that you get from your wall or from a battery. This is uh, Nikola Tesla radiant energy. Um, but please do not try this at home. This is something special. You could get hurt. Please don't try it at home. Warning. Hello YouTube, Mr. Angus Wangus here for a quick demonstration. I'm going to try and do this all in one clip, make it quick. This is a demonstration of Nikola Tesla's Radiant Energy, otherwise known as Zero Point Energy, Scalar Energy, Longitudinal Energy, uh, Cold Electricity, and my personal favorite, Dielectric Energy. This stuff's been suppressed for over um, a century. This is, this is a different form of electricity here um, that I'm going to demonstrate. Now, uh, I've got some items here I'm going to use. I've got two leads with Tesla's Radiant Energy coming out, waiting to go. I've got bulbs. I've got a two-foot high voltage 20 watt fluorescent tube, a 25 volt 20 watt incandescent, a 12 volt incandescent, and a 3.7 volt incandescent. These are like automotive light bulbs that you can find in the hardware store very easily. This is out of a microwave oven. You can see that the terminals are exposed. Right, the terminals are exposed as well as on here. I've got a little stick tack here, but these terminals will be exposed and you'll see why that's important. So first I'm going to hook up the two foot fluorescent. You might see a little glowing already, right? There we go. She's lit up, right? Not so amazing considering high voltage and the like, right? So we've got we've done the fluorescent. Let's do the 3.7 volt. It's lit. It gets warm. All the incandescents do. Okay, let's try the 12 volt incandescent. Again, this is an automotive light. Very common at everyone's hardware store. Uh, I don't know the wattage rating of those two bulbs. Um, this is a normal 12 volt indicator light for the car. Basically. Again, not we've lit those with high voltage before, right? Not extremely crazy. Here is this is a twenty watt, one hundred and twenty five volt, twenty watt incandescent. That's warm already. Very interesting. Put this back over here. Now I want, what I want to show is the 3.7 volt. In series <laughs> with the fluorescent. You see the fluorescence already lit somewhat. And there we go. It's lit. I want to make sure that's all in there. Yep. So we've got the connection here. It's in series with the incandescent light right and going out very very interesting guys 
should be. And I'm going to get rid of this incandescent, or I mean fluorescent, because it's kind of gets in the way. Now what I have here is a bowl of normal tap water. The leads are right here. Uh, the first bulb I'm going to show is this 3.7 volt incandescent. Right? It's lit, just like before. Not so interesting, right? And now realize that these leads are showing, right? The metal. And I'm going to submerge this into the water. This is normal tap water. That light is still lit, just like it was when it was out of the water. <laughs> and now the water is touching both leads. And you'll notice that I can touch the water and it's just fine, right? I can touch both leads, I can touch the bulb. <laughs> Nothing's going on, I'm not getting shocked. And again, don't try this at home. This is not a normal, a normal energy that we're using here. Oh, now we'll show the 125 volt bulb. And again, it's lit like before. And I can submerge this one in the water as well and touch the water and touch the leads. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And we'll do the 12 volt bulb as well, why not? My fluorescent won't fit in this bowl, otherwise I would do that one as well. And there we go, she's lit like before. Submerse it in the water. Again, I can touch both leads with my fingers under the water. And there you go. Tesla's radiant energy demonstration. <laughs> now, I'm going to um, have more sort of amazing demos like this, right? This is not normal, guys. This isn't supposed to happen. I shouldn't be able to touch these leads like this. This shouldn't be happening at all, one, at all, <laughs> with normal electricity. Again, don't try this at home. This is not a normal setup. This is a Nikola Tesla setup. Uh, so I'm going to have more sort of amazing demos to show you guys um, coming up and a video with a full explanation as I see it of what's going on. Explanation of the radiant or zero point energy, cold electricity. Um, th again, this has been suppressed for a hundred years. Now I'm on to it. Woohoo! Okay, so uh, full explanation is coming up. I hope to demonstrate other really cool things. Um, action at a distance is one of them. Um, but this is very, very interesting, guys. I hope you find it as interesting as I do. I've got four other projects on the go. Okay. I can touch this. Both ends I'm touching under the water. <laughs> But I've got four other projects on the go right now. I'm right into everything. Homopolar, everything's still going on. But I wanted to make a quick video to show you guys what I'm doing. This is fascinating. This is the other side of electricity that science doesn't talk about. And I'm going to be playing with this and showing you that. Coming up. <laughs> I've been having some fun. There you go. I hope you enjoyed that. Please um, hit, rate, hit the rate button. Like or 
and share the video um, to show others because I'm going to be making a video showing and explaining the whole thing. Just wanted to give you a demo. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Mr. Angus Wangus here. Talk to you later.